everyone so today i'm going to explain about gay lussex law so gay lussex law was found by joseph louis gay lussex in 1808 so gay lussex law states that the temperature and pressure of an ideal gas are directly proportional if the volume and mass are remain constant so it means that when the temperature is increased, the pressure will increase too. So from this equation, P equals to KT, which K is a constant. It means that when temperature is increased, the pressure will increase and vice versa. So is it make sense? Let's do an experiment to prove this. After a little while of having our glass bottle over the candle, we will notice that the candle's flame will getting smaller until they are extinguished. If we watch closely, we will see that the water level underneath our glass bottle begins to rise as the candles fade away. The water level will continue to rise for a short time after the candle has been fully extinguished. Under normal conditions, many gases such as oxygen, hydrogen, and carbon dioxide will behave like ideal gas, which follows Gay-Lussac's law. In our experiment, our glass bottle is filled with gases and molecules. The energy from the flames transfers to the air molecules, exciting them by raising their temperature. Then the air molecules are excited and spread further apart. But in a closed system that are not expandable, the volume of space of air molecules can take up is limited. As a result, the air molecules press harder and harder against the wall of the glass bottle and the water at its base. This increase in air pressure under the glass bottle causes the water level under it to be pushed lower than the water level outside of it. Once the flames is extinguished, the air molecules under the bottle begin to cool off, dropping the temperature and losing their excitement. Therefore, the pressure drops. As the pressure drops, the air under the bottle wants to be equal to the pressure outside the beaker. The water in a shallow plate is pulled into the glass bottle, raising the water level under the beaker, equalizing its pressure. So today I'm going to do boys slow experiment. Firstly, we are going to need an empty bottle, balloons, and a scissor. So firstly, I'm going to put the balloon at the top of the water. And after that, I'm gonna pop a hole using season. There's a hole right there. So now I'm gonna blow through the hole and let's see what happened with the balloon the balloon in flame let's see what happened when I suck through the hole
the balloon expand. Uh, so this means the Boyce law apply on this experiment. Boyce law it stated that when the pressure increase, the volume will decrease. When the pressure decrease, the volume will increase. Remember when I blow through the hole, the balloon inflated. That means when I blow through the hole, the pressure is increased. When pressure increases, the volume will decrease. That's why the balloon inflates. But when I suck through the hole, the pressure is decreased. That's why the balloon expands. The volume is increased. Hello everybody, in this video, we are going to talk about another one of the basic gas law and we are going to discuss about Avogadro's law. Avogadro's law have four basic properties of gases which are the pressure, the volume, the temperature, and the amount in mole of a gas. Now, I will explain about Avogadro's law experiment. For the experiment, we need a pump and balloon. When I fill the air in this balloon, the amount of a gas inside the balloon increases, which also increases the volume of a gas. So, in order for the pressure and the temperature of this gas to stay constant, the volume has to expand to accommodate all the extra gas. When I remove the gas of balloon, the gas goes out, so the number of moles of a gas decreases and the balloon will shrink, and a balloon also decreases. It means that amount in moles of a gas decreases which also decreases the volume. So, when the moles of a gas goes up, the volume also goes up. And when the amount in moles of a gas goes down, the volume of a gas also goes down. Hi, I will explain about Charlie's Law. For this experiment, we use balloons, bottle, hot water, and cold water. Put the bottle in a container that contains hot water. The balloon is not strained straight up because I'm using plastic bottle. It less heat transfer than glass bottle. But still, the balloon expands as the bottle was heated. Next, put it in the cool water. The balloon shrink. The temperature inside the bottle increases when the bottle is placed in the bowl containing hot water. The air inside balloon gets heated and spin. This causes the balloon to strange and spin. The balloon contract when placed in the bowl containing cool water and ice because the temperature within the bottle reduces causing the air in it to cool down.